Well, hi there and welcome at a new episode on TypeScript Design Patterns. And in this episode, we will be discussing the strategy pattern. When we look at the definition, it states that it defines a family of algorithms, encapsulate each one and make them interchangeable. And strategy lets the algorithm vary independently from clients that use it. So it looks a little bit like the state pattern, where the uh, inner state of an object defines how the object behaves. The big difference I have with the strategy pattern is that the strategy pattern has no tight uh, connections with the objects that can use the strategy. So when we look at the UML class diagram, we see a context, and the context has a strategy, a, a can use a strategy and uh, which strategy uh, you use can be defined either by the object itself by the context itself or uh, by the application logic where you define which strategy to use in this case so uh, when we look at the example i created i created a sorting strategy um, the context if that is an array for example to decide itself which strategy to use to sort the items. So if it has just a few items, it will use the merge sort, or when it has a lot of items, it will use the quick sort, and in that way it can decide it itself. Or uh, in the example I created, you can uh, just set a strategy uh, according to your own likings. So let's head over to the code. Let's head over to Visual Studio. So when you look over here, let's close this one for a second. Uh, the first thing I define an interface. And the interface says, okay, uh, I have a sort method where I get an array of T and I use a comparer left and right uh, to indeed uh, decide which of the two items is the bigger one. So this is the interface. Then I have a standard sort strategy. And what it does, it receives an array of items, sorry, uh, yeah, an, an item array of a specific type. It uses a comparer and it then just sorts the item uh, by calling the standard JavaScript implementation for sort, which is a quick sort. Uh, then we have a insertion sort strategy. Uh, what we see over here, I have the same, of course, interface. It implements the same interface, and then it does insertion sort. We also have a merge sort strategy, which I defined over here. So it has the same interface, but instead of uh, doing an insertion sort of the standard sort, we're using a merge sort. Uh, I highly recommend to have a look on Wikipedia to uh, just for learning's sake to see how these sort algorithms work. Uh, and this is just my implementation of the merge sort in JavaScript. So when we have those applied, when we have those strategies available, we can then have, for example, a sortable list. And the sortable list has a sort strategy property. And what we can do there is we can define, the, uh, set the strategy it will use to actually sort the items uh, in its array, that array. So we create a new sortable list, we pass in the items, and by default we set the standard sort strategy. So we use the sort strategy which comes with the JavaScript engine your browser, in this case, uses. Um, you can of course add items, uh, get the items array itself, and you have the sort method. And instead of uh, uh, executing some logic itself, it will just call the sort method of the sort strategy. So when we look at the load method over here, we see that we just create a, a, an array with numbers. It's a random numbers. Uh, we create 50 random numbers uh, between one and a thousand. We then create a new sortable list and we pass in the random numbers. So the first thing we'll then do is we call sort, which uses the standard sort strategy. Then we create a new sortable number list, passing the same random numbers, but uh, instead of using the standard sort strategy, we set the sort strategy to a new merge sort strategy. And we then call sort again. And of course, 
And the result will be exactly the same, uh, but it just uses a different strategy to get to that result. And then we have a new list, sortable list, a new sortable number list, and we uh, pass it the insertion sort strategy as its uh, strategy to use. And then we call sort again. Of course, the result will be exactly the same. We just use a different strategy. And that's the whole idea of the strategy pattern. You can use different strategies, so different algorithms to get to the same result. And uh, well, most of the times it's the same result. It doesn't even have to be the same result, but it uses the same interface to be called so you can get a result. That is how you use the strategy pattern.